proposal is important because it's logical. It has to be accurate. It has to specifically state what you can do and what that potential value is for a sponsor and how that sponsor can utilize your team and your resources to create value because that proposal is what that marketing director is now going to use to sell it through to the CFO and the CEO. Remember the steps. First, you want to meet somebody. Then you want to get to know them. Then you want to sell to them. And then they have to sell to their people. Well, that's what a proposal does. The proposal helps you sell through your program through a marketing director to their CFO or the CEO. The proposal has to be a logical, sometimes a legal document, but a very accurate and valued document so that a CFO of a company can look at it and say, oh, wow, this is going to add to our bottom line. I think this looks good. I think we can do this because they're thinking numbers. And that's how you want to think when it comes to proposal. So think about it. A, a deck is eye candy. It's what you use to get their attention. It has to look good. It has to feel good. Pitch decks have to be first class because that's the first impressions. Scott was talking about first impressions, how they matter. Very important. It has to make you look cool and it has to make potentially the sponsor look cool if they attach to your program. Um, it's kind of like a movie trailer in a way. That deck is that first impression that makes them want more. The proposal, now they have to be customized for what you can do for that company. And different companies have different needs. You don't send the same proposal to a beverage company that you send to a tire company or let's say an oil manufacturer. We were talking about how oil manufacturers need uh, testing, especially AMSOIL. Tire companies wanted low. Why did the tire break down and turn three? Did it hit a, a nail or was it gashed you know, by a rock? What, what, what exactly does the, the brand need? Service providers are different from tire companies, different from beverage companies. Beverage companies want sampling. So if you can show them how you can sample products, foods to spectators and others at an event, then that should go into the proposal. If you can show a service company how you can collect leads, um, I won't say the service company is a military, but I guess military service, it's kind of, I was thinking more Geico and progressive, but if you can collect leads then and, and you can show that in your proposal, then that's what you list because that has value to them. An energy drink probably doesn't care so much about leads as an insurance company does. So you, you want to cater your proposal to the type of company that you're dealing with so that you're giving them assets that have value to them. Not assets that you think have value to them, but assets that truly have value to that type of company. And, and remember, the non-endemic brands need to pay for sponsorships where endemic brands can offer their product and increase performance. Tire companies, oil companies, engine manufacturers, shock companies, they can give you products that make you more competitive. They can help you win races. So those brands don't have to spend as much money to get involved with your racing. If they can make you a better racer, the performance alone can be compensation. Other companies, let's say food and beverage companies, they're probably not going to make your car faster. They might give you a little energy or give you a caffeine boost, who knows, but they're not going to increase your, your physical track performance. So they have to buy that representation. Endemic brands can typically compensate with product and discounts and marketing and partnerships where non-endemic brands have to pay with money. And that's where the bigger money comes from. And that will also go into your proposal.